you guys good morning it's so nice to see you i'm currently having breakfast which is my fave breakfast of the moment even though i try to change it quite a bit just so you know not to get bored by it but right now i love to have a toasted bagel with something on and this morning i decided to have butter and honey so crispy and delicious and also yeah i have my cup of english breakfast tea with just a touch of lemon and of course you guys i did not ditch or decide not to drink coffee anymore i could never never in my life I will just have it like later in the day, at mid-morning or early afternoon for sure. So today I'm bringing you with me in a day to show you what I actually eat by myself at home, cooking of course from day to night. I mean not really from day to night, just for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I'm working from home so Mostly lunch will be something very quick but yummy at the same time. It's now lunch time and we're going to make or better assemble a fennel salad with of course oh my god with of course fennel canned tuna here I have just soaked red onions just to soften a bit the flavor pomegranate and of course I just need to get one orange and I will be using this plate which is like my favorite little bowl it's so cute that cute bowl was part of a set that had also these tiny bowls too that I love to use like for dessert or for olives and little snacks the cutest but I also have, as you already know and saw, of course, this kind of dishes, uh, always the British countryside, just in blue, light blue tones. Don't get me started with the colors too, because they are too beautiful. And I also love to use, and I used this morning for breakfast, this plate here which is danish it's typical have it for all years and this is it's very cute and nice also because it's from 1994 that's the year i was born love to use them really love to use them i need to find more dishes like these because are my fave this salad looks and it's also as you saw so easy and quick to do um, now I'm going just to put on a little bit of oil olive oil a salt and a squeeze of lemon
you guys this salad is too good you should absolutely try it while also oranges and fennels are in season and pomegranate too yeah of course i'm craving coffee so i'm going to go ahead and make myself a cup of espresso but before that i wanted to show you what i'm actually wearing today it's an homey fit for sure because i do not plan on leaving the house today at all <laughs> but i think that it's very cute oh me and cute oh me and cute it's something that i like very much but so i have on this cropped cardigan from brandy and melville also the pants are from brandy and melville just a few years old and then i have these cute pointel briefs with little bow detail from Zara and at my feet I just have like fuzzy slippers. I do love actually wearing Brandy and Melville. It makes me remember when I was 18, 17 and I had to go there once a week to say what they had new in store. Not that now it much different it's just the kind of things they do sell change quite drastically a lot but of course i mean i can understand that and i love what they have now but it just make me realize how time passes so very quickly but at the same time like thinking about me being 18 and 17 feels like a lifetime ago which it actually is but yeah i do love brandy and melville actually i just hope they could be a bit more inclusive with their sizing but they like they always had just one size so never been inclusive but i think that they could work a tiny bit more on this but i love the brand vegan that they are on now which is surely what's in trend now Let's go and make a coffee. that I found in the Ein's cookbook that I got for Christmas. I just revisited it a bit. This is the recipe. It's an aubergine spaghetti parmigiana. I revisited it because, I, of course, I did not use the Ein's um, spaghettini. I don't know how they are called. Like, they are called the spaghetti oops. I'm pretty sure that we don't have those in Italy, but anyway recipe that I'm going to do and I already started to prep everything. In fact, you can see here the 
cut aubergines with mint. I added mint because I think it can be very nice. I have here the tomato sauce that's cooking. And here just water that once it boils, I'm going to just put the pasta in it. Then once everything is ready, I just need to assemble the ingredients and put them in the oven for quite a bit. Guys, tonight I'm not alone because my parents at the end joined me for dinner so it was lucky that I decided to cut lots of aubergines so that I can make even bigger portions for all us to eat tonight. My mom also bought this which is like a Asian mix appetizer and it is so good with this chili sauce. Delicious. My aubergine pasta parmigiana was so delicious and also adding the mint to the recipe I think gave the recipe itself a plus. Really delicious. I think I will use mint in more recipes. It's an herb that I love but that I don't tend to use a lot when I'm cooking. Don't know why because it's truly delicious so I will definitely try to incorporate this more to my cooking recipes but yeah i already um, cleaned almost everything i just need to give the final touches before uh, adding to bed because it's really time to go to bed right now but you guys i'm wrapping up this day with me i hope you enjoyed looking at me just cooking because I do enjoy it so much please subscribe so that you can always have more from me and I will see you very soon bye bye